guys, bro, Capriz, and welcome to my review of episode 23 of season 6 of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, Where the Apple Lies. So, an apple family flashback episode. Boy, were we waiting for this, and we're all disappointed. Let's, let's, let's. Let's put our cards on the table here. We were hoping to see the Apple family parents, but no, no. Just the characters we know regularly. We saw you, Ungerver. We saw that Big Mac used to be a chatterbox. Ox, weirdly enough. Um, or maybe they'll. And uh, Applejack never didn't always wear a hat. I'm guessing those two things are affected by what happened to the parents, whatever happened to them. But why? Why? Well, you couldn't even show them. You couldn't even show them. You couldn't even get us this Hasbro. For fuck, sorry. I mean, <clears throat> give us a goddamn break. Seriously. I mean, this. As I was watching through the episode, by the way, this episode, it was okay. Flashback episodes are okay, unless they, you know, do something Im immensely important to the story. This did nothing. This was a filler episode. There I said it. It's a fucking filler episode. Quote. And... It's really disappointing that this this didn't. Uh, I mean, wh yeah, it shows us the Applejack, how Applejack came to who come into how how she came to value honesty, which of course led her to become the element of honesty. He, he, an apple. Um, does get Apple Bloom, whom now, be specific, she gets a 10 out of 10 for the funniest joke I've ever heard when she said to Applejack and Thera, like, oh, I, I damn near her, her died. I, I was laughing all, all over the place. I had to rewind the episode because I couldn't, I, I missed like about uh, five minutes as I was laughing my ass off. So, props to Apple Bloom for the funniest line I've ever heard in my life. So, props to her for that. But, oh no, what else did this episode accomplish in terms of, you know, building on this on, on the story? I mean, we were real. <sighs> When I heard about this episode, I was like, yes, a flashback episode. Yes, we're going to see the parents. And then we see in the episode, nope, nope, no such, no such, uh, no such luck. We found out Spoiled Rich, that bitch, used to be called Spoiled Milk. So, ponies do change their name in marriage. That's an interesting little nugget to know. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Huh. What does that... Does that, you know, does that mean this episode was necessary? I mean, really, you needed to show the, the parents. We didn't need to see what happened to them. You know, you could save that for another flashback. Back maybe in season 7. But at least show them to us. So we have something to work on. Because everyone ha has different ideas. As to what they might look like. Hey, give us something, Hasbro. For fuck's sake. Hey, look at it this way, Hasbro. If, if Hasbro are watching, look at it this way. If you introduce more characters, more toys... 
He's more sales, more money. There you go. I just if the, if Hasbro ever sees this, that's guaranteeing that they'll be in that they'll be introduced with that some point. It's too late because when they introduce them, the characters will most likely he be a one-off. Just say, because we know they are either have left the farm for whatever reason or the other thing. Although I think, I think actually a writer confirmed that they are dead. Hmm. I'm trying to remember where I heard that. Was it? I don't know. I don't know why I'm thinking a writer, one of the writers confirmed that. Maybe they did. I don't know. Off the top of my head, I can't remember. But yeah. Where the apple lies. For, you know, it was, a, it was an okay episode. Um, showed... You know, showed some interest. Uh, it's all an interesting story of... With the uh, Apple family. Albeit not all of the Apple family. Um, the little, uh, background and stuff was a bit, bit funny. He, I mean, we, we saw Derby was in for, for some sort of eye surgery. He, he'd love to hear more about that. Too bad we never will. Fan fiction writers, I'm looking at you because you're the only ones who get shit done. Seriously. You're the only ones who get shit done. If only we could agree what, what the Apple family parents look like, I think we might get somewhere. But, you now somewhere right about why Derp, what happened with Derpy's surgery, because something, considering it was Derpy, it must have gone fucking wrong. <laughs> Let's just be honest here. Or nothing, almost nothing goes right for that. Oh, he. And she always has a smile on her face. What am I talking about? This is an Applejack family episode. See? He writes, writes, that's how dull this episode was without something eye-catching. I'm more intrigued to find out why he derpy was in that hospital to know, to know more about Apple Blight. Whatever the fuck that is. Cause I wasn't even... I wasn't even paying attention. Hmm. Hmm. When they mention it, I was like... Well, they don't mention it anymore. They didn't mention it when Apple... In the... Uh, in any of the Sire... In the Sire related episode... Back... A few seasons ago, so... Oh... I'm going to assume it's not all that important. Or it's just not a thing anymore. Or it must have fucking be it. Good for them. Hmm. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I just couldn't find something that would make this episode memorable. I mean, let's put it this way. It's a one-time view. I'm sorry. Maybe you enjoyed it, maybe you don't, but I can't see any value in watching this episode again. Unless you want to see younger Applejack or chatty E. Big Mac, although you could probably look up the scenes and listen to Big Mac or look at pictures of young Applejack. You don't need to watch the full episode. This episode was a one-time viewing. And Hasbro really let themselves down. I hope, I really hope, that Top Bolt and the finale can can pick it up. I don't know what to expect from Top Bolt. Finale... I have a bad feeling I'm going to hate it. I really feel like I'm going to hate it. 
Top Bolt will be uh, next week's episode, and hopefully, hopefully, someday, Hasbro will do something to actually make a good flashback episode with the Apple family. After this one, I can't give it better than average. Five. Five out of ten. I'm sorry, but I can't give it better than that. It's a one-time view. It's an okay episode, but nothing really memorable in it. Yeah, you learn a lesson about honesty, but we've learned that lesson before, Hasbro. You've taught that lesson before, and it seems like I can't be the only one who notices their ideas are getting repetitive, which is a very, very bad sign. I'm just going to put this out here, there. Maybe this show needs new writers. Come in with fresh ideas, fresh morals, and fresh... It's just fresh-ish out the show completely. You know, because it seems like the writers we have, where we love them or hate them, I think they've run out of ideas. And uh, that, I will say, hey, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Leave your comments in the comment section below. And until next time, I hope you all have a very, very nice day. Peace.